for example, like, wait, what? I can like, try. Out of curiosity, point, like? how do you feel about gay couples adopting children? Even though no, no, literally, what's your, what's your point? Like, what's literally your point? all like, data I'm not here indicates. To be in no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Right? Don't get it triggered. Literally, all data indicates that the outcomes for a gay couple adopting children are the same as a straight couple. There's no harm to the kid, no social harm, no like weird problems with that. But you're opposed to it, aren't you? Because your religion tells you to. The empirics <sighs> for you are a convenient secondhand justification for biases you hold anyway. I bet if I took a look for your studies, we'd find they weren't look, as causal I, as you think they are. Try to verify whether I'm wrong or, or not, or whether you're right, but the, the data is all there. And can you, you want to say, oh, okay, you, this, is just a means, this is just a means to an end. So what? Like, can address you, the argument. Can you answer the gay address, adoption? Address the argument. Wait, can okay? you, just out of curiosity, can you answer the gay adoption question? Are you okay with gay I've, couples adoption? I've adoption? answered this on my website, muslimskeptic.com. What does it say? I've answered on YouTube. Like, do you want me to start interrogating you about your statements? About okay, I think I know what your answer is. You so want, again, you want me to the do empirics are you want second me to do that? Well, for me, you empirics, to... for you can interrogate me or whatever. For me, empirics are first. I try hand. not to do that. Like, I try to the, be the uh, point, decent and respectable the, in this the debate point that I'm and not bring at. up these kinds of points the point that are that not it's related, so, it's not not related to the topic indecency. of indecency. When you're having a discussion on stuff like this, which is really complicated, like I, I want to be clear, my positions on this are strong. What but is the gay subject adoption? Have very to do complicated. With this? Oh well, all this is child porn is more related to this topic of debate than gay adoption. What if you want to have a debate? We, if you want to have a debate we, on we gay adoption? We talked about. I'm happy to have that. Okay. You yeah. want to? You want a, a debate on that? Wait, no. I'm trying to you answer. I'm, I'm trying you to answer your up. thing. So the um these these su this subject is really really complicated and people have the ability to narrativize and bias their perspective in a lot of ways. Like even like researchers do this all the time. So it's important to understand where people come at their arguments from. And I think in your case, it's important to know that for you, like the empirics don't matter. You could be lying about everything you're you saying either. empirically. It doesn't matter for you either. But it wouldn't matter because your actual source of reasoning is coming from another place. Okay. What, if another, all the studies, um, what if all the studies showed that gay adoption is actually like horrifically abusive to children what if all the studies show that would you then say that we have to ban gay adoption well why would they um be harmful you? to the children well wait why they, we're just i'm just stipulating that all the studies show that gay adoption is extremely harmful would you then ban gay adoption wait but why is it <laughs> wait that's just that depends my wait that, that determines my answer that's no important. it doesn't uh, wait no it does yeah well all for you it doesn't show, because imagine, you imagine you approach every question with a cudgel imagine, you're like ban this, don't ban like, ban you don't ban. Can't, you can't jump into the q a shortly you can't just, answer a simple question wait no, I just, can you just studies, answer why it's harmful just imagine this fantasy world this impossible world where all of the studies show that gay adoption is empirically harmful to children what Would you support but what's banning making gay it adoption what why can't you answer because because there's critical context missing because of this what you're a means to an end you're revealing Right now, empiricism is just a means to an what end you're revealing you, right Bosh. now is what is that you don't actually care. Wait, revealing. James, he's not letting me. Actually, James. All right, given that you're each speaking at the same time, that's for James. I'm sorry, either of you. Please forgive me. The audience will feel merciless. I, I only want to say, I think this is indicative of his thought process because to him, whether he likes or doesn't like something has nothing to do with why it is. He is the same simple mind of an authoritarian, he approaches it with same a hammer, you. you see. It doesn't actually Daniel. matter why it is the way it is. It's just whether you like it or don't like it. And I think it's kind of revealing that you wouldn't care what the context of why something is bad is. No, we just stipulated for the sake of argument and you couldn't answer the question. If gay adoption was proven in some hypothetical world to be very harmful to children, it should be very easy for a normal person who is guided by the empirics and is not guided by some kind of politically correct ideology or liberal ideology to say that, well, given that all the studies show that this is harmful, this practice is harmful, let's ban it. But you were Why not willing to say matters. that. You were okay, not willing to say that. Can I ask you that. a question to help you understand? The existence of Muslims in America causes hate crime. Should we ban Muslims in America? Uh, can you repeat that? Sorry. The existence of Muslims in America, allowing them into this country, allowing them to be here, causes hate crimes. Hate crimes exist because Muslims are here. Should we ban Muslims from being in America? Uh, but why are the hate crimes caused? Is it because of the Muslims or is it because of Islamophobes? Mm, you're wondering, but you can't, you can't ask me to clarify, it's... can you? Because that would defeat the whole point. Mm. You're no, realizing gay, now sometimes adoption, social problems. Adoption, look, uh, okay, fine. Fair enough. Ah, it's getting I'll, tough. No, it's not getting tough. The gay adoption causes harm because the, the gay couples are abusing the children. That's why they're harmed. Oh, I figured that. But why are they abusing the children? <laughs> they just have this hatred of children.
if gay couples had an in intrinsic hatred of children, then yes, I agree. Maybe it should be bad. Um, I don't okay. think that's true, though. Yeah, or, really? I mean, for any other factor, like, the children are being harmed because of gay adoption. Well, Whether it's, like, the lifestyle of the gay couple or gay couples happen to be more violent or whatever it might be, hypothetically. What if it's people bullying the kids for having a gay, um, gay, gay parents? But it's not that in this hypothetical scenario. Ah, uh, so the reasons matter. Yeah. If gay people were inherently like more violent or so they, yeah, you could talk about that. That's fantasy <laughs> stuff. But, um, uh, 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 yeah, but the reason matters, you know, the real reason historically, you know, like a lot of bad outcomes associated with the gays, it's been because people treat the gay people bad, right? Same with Muslims in America, you know, it's not them committing the crimes. People do hate crimes against Muslims. So it's the reasons why bad outcomes are happening, like the product of what incentives, you know, that matters a lot to me. Yeah. But in this scenario, like the gay adoption is causing harm to children you well, can say because children in reality need it's both not a, mo course. a mother and father uh children you know gay, in, in, in our fantasy example violent, in reality yes. however everything's fine this is purely hypothetical of there course. are no research studies that i know of that show this but in this hypothetical example you would be for banning gay adoption in a hypothetical fantasy world where things were different than the way they are then i would have different positions on the subject yes Thankfully, in the real world, where there is no harm, I do support gay adoption, and you... Right. I'm happy to debate you, Vosh, on this topic. James, I think we're ready for the Q&A. No, but what if you have, like, a certain kind of belief that deeply uh, conflicts with the empirical reality? Is there any example of that that you can give me? No. Because I would have another. Okay, so then you're the same as me. I, well, well, no, because I have axiomatic I gave the same exact. I gave the same exact answer to this question of whether anything in Islam will conf could conflict with empirical studies. I'm sorry, and do we want to go back that? to the gay adoption question? No, I mean, this is a conceptual point again. Like, no, it's a pretty, it's a pretty empirical one. It's That's just the coincidence. Problem. It's just a coincidence that all your values are supported by empirical studies. No, it's not a coincidence. It takes a lot of effort, actually. Okay, um, so I can say the same thing. No, but yours aren't. We demonstrated that with the gay adoption question. Your beliefs aren't informed by the evidence. We haven't had that debate. If you want to talk about it, it's not agree a to a debate. I'm challenging you, Vosh. I'm challenging you, Vosh. Do you, are, do you know of any Except studies? The debate. Do you know Except of any debate. studies that indicate that it's harmful for a child to be adopted by a gay I got couple? plenty of studies. I got he plenty of arguments. Studies. He doesn't have I'm any studies. I'm, I'm happy to give you any kind of argument and study that you want. I know you, you have want. arguments get, on it. Get into a debate, a formal debate. We'll have James here. He's such an amazing moderator. I love James. And we'll that have that true. debate. This is what Rob, or, or just a friendly Lee. conversation. I'm happy to talk to you as well, Vosh. On my Brenton. civil rights? Brenton. What about civil rights? My civil rights, I'm gay.